Let's take a look at how to load a design for your machine. In the software, I'm going to go over to the load design icon. And it's going to uh, default to the last place that you loaded a design from. Um, if you have yet to load one, it's going to go to the designs folder on your computer. If you look at these, uh, you can see in the preview, you've got um, the name, you've got the stitch count, and then below that you've got the dimensions of each of these designs, and you've got a nice little preview there. Um, if you hover over it, you can also pull up a path to where that design actually lives. Um, when I click on it, it's selected, and then I can come over and confirm, or I could double click to load it. You can also change the location of where you're looking by clicking on any of these breadcrumbs. You can change how they are sorted here alphabetically, A to Z, or the other way around, here by date, newest to oldest, oldest to newest, or you can go up a level, or you can just go back to the main part of your computer. So you've got ways to navigate around your computer here. You've got information on the designs here, as well as those previews. And to actually confirm, you can either double click or double tap. You can also select one and then hit confirm. It will then load a design and you will then see the name of the design, the estimated time remaining, and the stitch count of where you are on that progress bar on the bottom. You will see the design show up in the window. Now, if you've not colorized your thread tree, it's gonna show up all in gray, um, but that is a, a different step in setting your color sequence. Um, but you have successfully now loaded a design to your machine.